what's up xrp fam what's up moon family it's the Bagman, the moon commander back in the building back with a quick update let's go ahead and dive right in we're going to show you how to update the message key on your xrp ledger to replace the old flare address with the new flare address from descent wallet by updating the message key you will be able to receive spark token to the flare account in the descent wallet when flare network mainnet goes live also we recommend this is from tolo labs we recommend metamask ledger or descent wallet for best support from day one and descent wallet did you know the descent wallet already supports dat browser which connects to the flare network cost in two testnet you will be able to access various flare dapps such as flare finance go gala games and much much more so if you already set a message key we're going to show you how to change it over to a descent wallet eth address so let's go ahead and dive right in remember you have until june 11 2021 to make your spark claim or change the message key if you had xrp on a supporting wallet 12 12 20 first step one get an ethereum address from descent wallet if you don't have a descent wallet you can come over to descentwallet.com and pick up your wallet pick up your hardware device there's also a link down below with a discount if you want to pick one up also make sure that you upgrade your device it's pretty easy just go over to the descent wallet come over to support and go over to firmware update and all you have to do is pretty much connect your device update the firmware and it's going to walk you through it and it's pretty easy to update your firmware so once you do that then you're all good to go device is updated so if you already have an account you can just copy your eth address if not so just push the plus button search for or just click ethereum right here then you'll add ethereum to your account then you can just go ahead and push the receive button and copy your address press the receive and copy the ethereum style address send this info to yourself in a message this will be your new eth like address flare address that will be registered to your xrp ledger message key so let's go ahead and pull up the app right here so once you're all set up, you can see that you're connected to your device through Bluetooth right here. But if you don't have your Ethereum account yet, you can just push this button right here and search for the Ethereum address or just click it right here. And then you can create your account. Once you have your Ethereum account, just click here on Ethereum, click receive and grab your address right here. Once you copy your address, you're good to go to the next step. Step two, set the message key with a new flare address, the one that you just copied. Open the XRP toolkit and connect your XRP wallet. An example, the wallet you held XRP at the time of the snapshot. So it really doesn't matter where you had your XRP, as long as it's one of these supporting wallets, you can change it over to the Descent Wallet Ethereum style address. Whether it's the Ledger Nano X, Nano S, Cobalt Wallet, some app, or even the Atomic Wallet, you can connect your Atomic Wallet here with your private keys. So depending on where you had your XRP, 12 12 20 go ahead and connect that wallet i'm going to be using the sum app changing my sum app over to my descent wallet so just go ahead and click connect wallet once you click that you're going to get to this screen you can click ledger cobalt wallet descent sum or you can put in an address if you have access to the private keys i'm going to be using some app you can use whatever you're going to use depending on where you had your xrp 12 12 20 for the snapshot so my app's already connected. If you're gonna use some, all you have to do is bring up your app and click the scan button at the bottom. Once you have that connected, come over here to properties. You can also check your accounts up here and add a different account. And you can see I already have a different message key in here, but since I copied my new one, I can just paste that in here. And it's automatically gonna adjust it to the flare format. So just click this, go ahead and click update. And in order to confirm it, you have to sign a transaction, which is like 0. 0.0002 XRP. Your uh, sum app should pop up. If not, you can just bring it up. Go ahead and sign a transaction on your phone from the sum app or whatever app you're using or wallet you're using. There we go. Submitting transaction. Transaction complete. And now we can see our flare address 0xe779. Let's go ahead and double check our wallet here. 0xe779. Looks like that's all good to go. Let's see what the next step is. It says if you already registered a flare address from the wallet that is connected, it will be listed. Ours was listed and we changed it. Paste in your address. We already did that. 
no xrp toolkit will automatically convert your flare address to the required format for storing it as a message key on the xrp ledger so we already did that as well click on the suggested format and then click update carefully review all transaction details in your connected wallet and only confirm if the message key corresponds to your intended new flare address once the transaction has been signed and submitted you will be able to receive spark to a flare address in the descent wallet Make sure you double check your new Flare address by entering your XRP account address in the Transaction Explorer, such as XRP Scan or BitHump. So go ahead and open up that window. And if you wanna double check your work, come back over to the XRP Toolkit and grab your address that you used right here, your XRP address. Come back over to the XRP Scan and see our new address 0xE779. Let's go ahead and confirm that one more time. 0XE779, looks like everything's good to go. Transaction went through and we're set up to receive these Flare tokens over on my Descent wallet, which I had over on my Sum app, but I moved them over to my Descent wallet. So easy tutorial, didn't take that long. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them down below. That is a quick tutorial how to change your Flare address over to a Descent ETH style address. And once again, you have up until June 11th to update your message key if you want to do so. Once again, the Ethereum wallets that will support Flare Networks right off the bat includes MetaMask, Cobalt Wallet, Descent Biometric Wallet, Ledger Nano X, Ledger Nano S. So if you don't have a Descent wallet, you can just use MetaMask, do the same steps and just download MetaMask and use your ETH MetaMask instead of the Descent ETH address. You can also continue using MetaMask to manage your Spark Flare, delegate access to Flare Finance dApps, and much more. If you use a MetaMask ETH address as your message key, you won't even have to migrate unless you want to. If you set an ETH address from a wallet that's incomplete or late support for the Flare networks, you will most likely have to migrate to a different wallet on launch to access delegation, sending Flare, etc. So if you're using an ETH address from a wallet that's incomplete or late support from Flare networks, you'll still be good. Just more than likely after launch, you'll have to migrate over to a different wallet to access delegation, sending Flare, etc. And this is from Ledger Support. We expect to have more news on a Flare app quite soon and we'll let everyone, we'll keep everyone informed. On top, you should be able to manage your Flare using your Ledger plus the Ethereum app with MetaMask and add Flare as a custom network on there. And then we have from Alipow, I asked as simply as I could and the response was Spark will be available few days after network launch, I'm just going to leave my spark pointed at Elipal ETH Addy. If you're using Elipal to claim your tokens, you should be good. More than likely, you'll just have to wait a few days after launch to be able to use your flare. With that being said, did you know that Descent Wallet already supports DAP browser, which connects to the flare network cost into testnet. You'll be able to access various flare dApps such as Flare Finance and Go Gala games right off the bat with Descent Wallet. So if you don't have a Descent Wallet or you don't want to use MetaMask, you should be good. More than likely, you'll just have to wait a few more days to be able to access Flare Finance. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you plan on moving your Flare address over to Descent Wallet, it's not that hard. I hope you all continue to stay extra, extra bullish out there. Continue holding those good vibes and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace out, Moon family. Hey. Ninja stars keep flying and them prices keep skying Them rocket ship pilots and I buy my own island Rocket land itself while I parachute down Killed the king, took the crown while you got spun around Media manipulation and they got you tuned in Shilling shit coins and they ain't moon in All my bags busted and they all boom in You a product of the TV, you all sound sheepy You all look sleepy, what is they feeding? Why you keep eating, it's dumb down season it's all nonsense, you hooked on it like phonics I be getting bags all day to be honest I don't got no time to be dealing with no nonsense